Hey guys, Baby Z FPV here, and uh, today I kind of just wanted to uh, talk about something kind of simple. Um, so I know a lot of you out there um, have heard of the Meteor Pro uh, 70, 75 Pro. Um, it is a quite popular drone. I have many of them. Um, and so I wanted to kind of go over a common issue some of you may be having whenever you're getting these things out of the box and bound. Um, so you've gone through... Uh, bound the drone, took a look on Betaflight, everything's looking cool, you think all the details are good, um, or maybe you've just literally bound the drone and uh, you're getting ready to take off, and guess what? Click, click, armed. Click, click, nothing. So you're getting an RPM filter error code um, in the goggles, and you're like, well, what the heck is that? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that, um, at least one way, so you can get up in the air and flying. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this connected to our cable into Betaflight. Okay, it's getting connected. Okay, we're in. Okay, so you'll notice here where it says RX Failsafe MSP RPM Filter. Now, RX Failsafe is because you don't have the drone radio turned on and receiving connection, receiving signal from the radio to the drone and vice versa. Now this RPM filter flag uh, down here is because of this. So let's get rid of that. Um, go to, see if I can even freaking remember it. Um, go to motors. Go down here. What you're gonna do is disable bi-directional D-shot. Okay, you're gonna hit save and reboot. Okay, it rebooted. Make sure, okay, bi-directional D-shot is off. Let's go back to, yeah, setup. And then there you go. All, all you have now is RX Failsafe MSP. And normally if you do have your radio on and it's connected to the drone, some drones you don't have to have the battery plugged in. Um, you'll just see MSP. Um, that's, that's literally all you'll see. So I hope this helped you guys anyways. Um, you know, like, subscribe if you want, whatever. Um, yeah, hope I helped. Have a good day.